All right, this is session recap for the 19th day of uh, March. All right. And uh, this, today we're watching as the dollar index topped out on what is most likely a, uh, an ABC, it could be an ABC or it could be a free wave. All right, so you got a one, two, three, continuation. So it could be a three wave, it could also be a one, two, ABC for the sell off. Do we know what it is yet? No, we don't. But we got a channel to the upside. So until we know better, we're a buyer on dollar index and MACD says, and by the way, you better consider that, right? So we're a buyer. That means Euro should go to the downside. Surprising, surprising, it did. The problem with the Euro, of course, is we don't have a big enough ATR to even trade it. Euro dollar ATR is only 50 pips. So we have to walk away. Pound dollar, different story here. We got a little bit bigger uh, one. We got 65, I think it is. Pound dollar, 65 pips. Okay, and it did the six. It did 63 to the bottom last night, right there. So it was a trade, and uh, traders did make. We we counted 54 pips, but most traders made 200 pips or more. All right. So we're waiting on this pound dollar to see what what the structure is. We might have a one, two, three, four, and a five. It could also be a one, two, three, four, and a five. Most likely it's a bigger one, one, two, and three. So we're going to look for this to come up here today, right here. Now, why would they do that? Why are they driving it up there? Because we have FOMC tomorrow. The structure favors the sell, all right? So if the dollar goes up tomorrow, they're structured to make that move again. If the dollar goes down, they're a place to break out and go up. All right, so watch for that area right up there. Think like a banker. Don't think like a retail trader. A retail trader is going, where's the trade? Where's the trade? Where's the trade? Where's the trade? No, that's not how you do it. What's the structure and where are the areas that I'm interested in? Well, he, they have to talk to me. Not only do they have to talk to me, they have to talk to everybody else. All right, to keep an agenda going, they have to talk to everybody else. Well, they can't call everybody up and say, hey, HSBC, it's this Bank of America. We want to take this pound dollar up to here. They can't do that because that's price fixing. So how do they do it? They do it in the charts, which means the information is available to every trader on the planet if you know what to look for. And that's what we're all about, showing you what to look for and how to apply that in a trading uh, um, methodology. All right, so we'll wait and see if we get a pullback up here and watch for it tomorrow. Tomorrow's FOMC, so everything's going to slow down. We can't trade the dollar swissy, but it gives us the hint on the dollar, and you can see it's doing a flag pattern. All right, up, flag, up, flag. All right, so it's telling us they're trying to go up. The ATR is too low to trade. Dollar swissy is only 49 pips, so we can't trade it. We have to have 55 pips minimum. And 55, you can't even trade it at 55 because by the time it proves it, you don't have 55 pips left. But you know, that's at least the line of demarcation. All right, dollar yen, up she went last night. Perfect trade. We didn't have anybody trade it, unfortunately. We're right here at the channel. We have nothing we can do at a day chart top at the channel top. It needs to come down. All right? Now, if the dollar is going to go up tomorrow, which we don't know, but if the dollar is going to go up, they can't go up from here. So they need to pull this down so they can do that or that tomorrow when FOMC comes down. So watch for the pullback. And then tomorrow when FOMC happens, we're in position to do the buy and we're in position to do the sell. All right. So there we go. ATR is 102 pips. Can't trade Aussie dollar or New Zealand dollar because there's only 49 pip, 48 pips on the New Zealand dollar and 47 pips on the Aussie dollar. Can't, they only have 55 pips. All right, euro yen. All right, euro yen at the top of the range here. Did it went to target? Went to the top of the range. Got a day chart top right up in here, about sixty pips away. All right, euro yen has one hundred and twelve pip ATR. So you got to wait for a, a new ATR at five o'clock this afternoon. You may get that move up to the day chart, but the one hundred twelve pips is up in here, and you're going to hit the day chart first, top. So be leery of it. But MACD says, look for the buy, right? So there you go. Already happened, right? Same thing with pound yen. They run in tandem. So once you know euro yen, you typically know the pound yen up to target and up to the top of the channel. Now we can't trade it at the top of the channel and neither can they. They got to pull this back down. MACD says you're still going to be a buyer. Even if we pull back down, we're not going to break the zero line break to the downside. 
So they're most likely going to pull it down into a neutral spot down here so they can go up or down tomorrow. Right? Pound yen has an ATR of 118 pips. Aussie yen, maybe we can trade it, right? It went up to target easy. Ooh, that's nice to see. They'll raise the ATR tomorrow. Only a couple pips, but it'll help. Aussie yen has 63 pips. Might be 66 tomorrow. Well, the more pips, the better, right? Right up to target and then added another 20 pips on top of that. So that'll help this tomorrow, right? MACD says you're a buyer, right? But we got a day chart top up here. All right, we have an unsustainable move. So what's going to happen? They're going to have to pull it down to make a run at that again. Why? Because professional traders will not buy at the top. Professional traders buy at the bottom. Professional traders buy at the bottom. They don't buy at the top. Professional traders buy at the bottom. Professional traders buy at the bottom. If you're a professional trader, you buy at the bottom. You don't buy at the top. All right, so you make it a rule. All right. So nothing to do on that. We got to wait and see what happens. Can't trade Euro Pound. It's only got a 25 pip ATR. Uh, Euro Aussie went up to target last night and uh, we uh, didn't have anybody trade it. All right. To the pip, we're in a big day chart triangle here. In fact, I need to change this so I know it's a day chart triangle. Hold on, let me change the color. Yeah, I need to know where this came from. Where did it come from? I'm going to look at it down here in a lower chart, but I need to know I'm in a day chart triangle. All right, so I, I can trade in a day chart triangle. I can't trade in a 240 or 60 triangle, but I can trade in a day chart because I don't trade the day chart. Position traders trade that. And uh, traders come to me all the time and say, yeah, but the day chart says this. Who cares what the day chart says? You're an intraday trader. That's irrelevant information to you, all right? That's like investing in your 401k. And, you know, the big boys are not, they're not doing 401ks, they're they are buying companies, all right, uh, because they're different, all right, they're buying companies to make their money, you're trying to get 401k, all right, two different things, all right, needs to come down and get a new ATR, because we're in a triangle up, we're in a channel up, we're anticipating a pullback to go again, all right, wait for five o'clock to get a new ATR. Swiss yen, nice little currency, all right? Easily went to target and then put in another 80, 90 pips after that. Wow. Swiss yen will go up from 107, probably to 110, 112 tonight. Look for 112 pips up here. MACD says you are a buyer. Wait till five o'clock, get a new trade, new one up here. Maybe it's 110, 112 pips. It's not going to come out till, you know, out right after four o'clock, right? Or five o'clock in the Eastern. You got plenty of room up there. Now, Nazi, you don't have the same situation because you're going to slam into a day chart top here, All right? So they're going to probably pull it down here. So they have the ATR to the to the to the day chart. So tomorrow at FOMC, they can go up or they can go down. So wait for that information, and you won't get it till after five o'clock. Pound has 105 pip ATR. If you're in New Zealand. This is our real estate of the week trade up here. Let me take it to the 240. So we're looking to come up here to the day chart top at 82.21 up there. All right, we still got plenty of room to go. We got a one, two, three continuation. So if we get a pullback down here, that'll be a four wave or a five wave up there. If it goes sideways here, we're still in a third wave up here and then a fourth and a fifth. What do we got to do? We got to wait for it. All right, wait for it. But we already know what we're heads up on what to look for. Let me get rid of this now. Uh, there we go. All right. So there it is. So we're looking for a real estate that's a weak trade up to there. All right. It's only going to be, it's not, it's only 318 pips up there. But with multiple lots, you can pull 1,500, 2,000, 2,500 pips out of there if you execute. The key word is if you execute. If the market goes there and you execute, you can make 2,000 pips out of that trade. What would that do to your account? Uh, it would change it dramatically. Right? And that's what you're looking for. I'm not looking for 5, 8, 10 pip trades because they won't get me anywhere. All right? I'm looking for big opportunities and executing based on what I know. And the more you know, the easier it is to trade. The more you practice, the easier it is to trade. If you know a lot and don't practice, you will not be successful. If you practice a lot and don't know what to do, you'll not be successful. It's synergistic. All right, you're in New Zealand, 108 pip ATR. 
Pound New Zealand also went to the pip to it. I uh, just missed its ATR by five pips right there. We're looking to go to the day chart top up here. So there's the opportunity. Now, you do have divergence on this chart. All right. So this may be the last one more run to the top. That may be it, or it may already be happening and we're going down. All right. So if you see the move up here, you know it's the last move. Uh, most likely it's the last move. So watch for the shell sell off when it finds target. The 1000 is a really nice target right now. All right, Pound New Zealand has 122 pip ATR. And finally, New Zealand yen, we can't trade Aussie Swissy, Aussie New Zealand, or Pound Swissy because the ATRs are too low. Uh, we, uh, we basically never had this problem with ATRs too low. In 23 years of trading, I don't ever remember it. Now, I don't mean it might not have happened, it just means I don't remember it. And don't forget, I grew up in the 70s, but I did not inhale. All right, so there you go. All right. <laughs> All right. All uh, right, New Zealand yen, ATR is 61 pips. Really hard to trade. All right, but this will help it get a bigger ATR tonight. MACD says you're a buyer. Watch for the breakout up into this area. All right, there we go. All right, 